video about uh, uh, about uh, pre-planning your trip. Okay, it's, uh, I'm gonna put up a picture after, like right now. Uh, I gotta go to. I'm in the North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. I go to Iowa. Okay, that's 14. That's about say 25-hour trip. Plus that that's driving and sleeping. So anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna, when I when I drive from here, when I drive when I get started from here where I'm at. Okay, I'm gonna go to right here. Uh, 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 um, let me find it on the map. Okay, right here. Okay, look, I'm going to go right. Right here at that rest area, at the one, at the 52, before you get to the 52. See that rest area? Right here. That's where I'm gonna go. That's where I'm gonna stop. Because from here, <coughs> from here to that rest area, and there, um, right there at the, at the 52 on 74 in Indiana, is eight hours and 44 minutes. <coughs> But I'm not trying to drive no more than nine hours. At, well, be on duty. On duty, nine hours a day. Because I might have to recap. Okay, so I'm going to drive from here to there. I'm going to drive there. Okay? I'm going to go to sleep. <coughs> well, I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. There at the rest here because... By the time I 10, 11, 12, okay. By the time I get parking, I mean, by the time I get to a truck stop, there probably ain't gonna be no parking, so I'm gonna sleep there at the rest area. All right, and then I'm gonna drive from that rest area to Grindale, Iowa, or Grinnell, Iowa, okay. But on the way, I found a Luz, and I use this final. I use this. These ain't sponsors, but let me. I use this right here. Okay. Uh, I've, I've got a little one. Hang on. These are good too. I use that one too. This is the pocket one. It tells you where the truck stop is and everything in this little bitty one right here and all these states right here travel plaza and the rest there is you know listed by mile marker okay but this one right here is a much bigger one it's 15 dollars 15 well I probably had taxes about 16 dollars but it it lists parking, restaurant, showers, motel, internet, access, repairs, tire, road service, truck wash, scales, truck tires, bump death, ATM, checks, and fuel cards, permits, and zip codes. This one right here, compared to this one right here, uh, compared to this one right here, compared to this one right here, is, um, this one is more in depth more in depth because it it shows that this right here I believe shows like the not and some other mama pops but it shows mostly the major truck stops and stuff but this one right here now if you say so he was in West Virginia you know what I mean and he was uh, just say out here somewhere in the middle of nowhere like say Elks, West Virginia, he was out there in the middle of nowhere. Well, this right here says, let's see what it says about Elks, West Virginia. Let's see here. I mean, Elks, West Virginia. And you go down there and through there, and you find the town that you're in, that you're going to. 
but you're going to let's see here Elks West Virginia all right it says that it has well it don't say that it has sharp parking but you know you get my drift you can you can uh, find more in this book in this book uh, this book right here says it has parking how many, if it's a paid parking or what not, you know. So, this is a paid one, probably. But anyway, this is like a little rundown video. But you, you, man, you need this map right here. You need a ran. Hang on for one second. And you need a Rad McNally. People that gums in the truck. You need a Rad McNally. Moto Carrier. Uh, motor carrier atlas see you got the big truck on it this one right here let's see what i believe this one was like forty dollars but it's forty dollars for this and it's got the spiral i, I had, did have the uh one the paper one but and it's got a lemonade papers anyway the point of it ain't how to read a map or anything it's about trip planning. You have to know where from point A to point B. See, that didn't take me long because I knew, I know that I could park. Before I did this, I even wrote it down. See, there's where I'm gonna spend, there's where I'm gonna uh, get fuel and everything else in Leroy, Illinois. And I'm gonna stop over there, right outside of Indianapolis, on the west side of Indianapolis, so when I get up in the morning, I don't have to fool that traffic. Or in the morning, maybe I'll have fool with a little bit of traffic, but not a lot of traffic. So it didn't, it didn't take me long to figure this right here, figure it out. So that's what I'm. Uh, this is kind of like about. Uh, it's kind of planning your trips okay so that's that's how I plan mine got the books got the books and I got the book pad where you can write stuff down if you're not familiar with the area so when you're driving you don't have to thumb through the this right here these books or the atlas to look for a place you have to do it pre-tripping well not pre-tripping pre-planning yeah pre-planning so so if you pray plan you'll have you know <clears throat> you'll be so much better so like when I go up in the northeast and stuff I do I pray plan but when I get to the last segment I just park at the shipper so most of the time I can park at my shippers but you know you have to look at that too if you want to park at the shippers or not but I do because I keep a lot of food in the truck, a lot and my basic necessities on off. Need is a bathroom, uh, or I go to the rest areas. But that's kind of dangerous, especially if you want to. If you want to get out three o'clock in the morning, go in the, and you have to go in the bathroom or something like that. But the ladies, I wouldn't go in the rest area. I'll go into truck stops and park your truck in a well-lidded area. So for the ladies, I mean, it goes for anybody, but mostly the ladies uh, park in, in a well-lit area. So, you know, anyway, that's all I've got for today. It's a rundown on pre-planning your trips, every single trip that you get. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and share the video.